Okay, guys, welcome back. This is hilarious. Our vegan stalker is back. We decided we'd do a special video just to address you guys in case your eyes had to see the wall of crazy. I am so sorry about that. I, like, want to apologize to the planet if you had to see any of that. I was just going to apologize to the Hindu community, and then I was going to apologize to vegans, and I'm like, no, I have to apologize to the entire planet. I'm sorry. Some people get onto an extreme diet and they go crazy, and now she's not vegan. Because, and this is true, because I was vegan for years, um, there are vegans that just, they go off their nut if somebody that is omnivore eats vegan food. They do. They will throw a temper tantrum. If they knew that a non-vegan was eating in a vegan or vegetarian restaurant, they would try to chase them out. They would. They're like violently anti-omnivore. They are. These are the people that go into Monero and won't let you eat your lunch, and they cry, and they scream, and they run around protest, and, you know... It, that's a sign the logic train isn't pulling into the station because is anyone hurting them? No. Is anyone screaming back? No. People are usually laughing, but nobody hurts them. It's almost like omnivores are gentle people, you know? It's almost like omnivores are gentle, sane, well-grounded people. And, you know, the fact that we don't do it in kind, we don't go and march around in vegan and vegetarian stores or, you know, stuff like that. It should it should teach them something, but unfortunately it never does. Um, I think the vegan hair dye she uses finally got to her brain. <laughs> I used to use vegan hair dye, but only because it was the cheapest. Um, you know, um, she just kind of, you know, now she's not a vegan, even though she has a vegan channel. And she's trying to earn a brigade, is what she's trying to do. And people want to get brigaded because then they get to play a victim, and then they get to say, well, this channel's harassing me, and she's hoping it, it generates her more views. And she's hoping I launch an attack on her and, like, tell all of you, my faithful followers of Loki, go out and spread chaos. No, we're not doing that. Not mentioning her name. I'm not mentioning her vegan channel. Um, I don't care if you're vegan. I don't care if you only eat fruit. I don't care if you only eat raw vegetables. I really don't care. And it has nothing to do with following the gods. I don't sincerely think she follows any gods. I think she's just a professional level troll and. She's claiming now she was pretending to be vegan. Her whole vegan channel is BS. And I'm like, well, you know what? Then you suck. Because vegan people deserve to not be shown as that mentally unstable. You know, um, I thought it was a bit strange that she was being vegan. I'm not going to say what she was wearing or doing, but it was like something actual vegans wouldn't do. And I'm like, I don't think you understand what veganism is. I don't think you understand the essential tenets of veganism because you're not doing it right. But, you know, um, she just wants to get brigaded in the worst possible way. She wants us to, like, send eyes to her channel to hate her. We're not going to do that. Also, I genuinely think she's mentally ill at this point. I think she's mentally unstable. I'm not, as somebody that struggles with depression and anxiety, I'm not going to send you to go after a mentally ill person. That would not be cool. There are channels that will brigade people because they think that if they started something, they're going to finish it. But we're not going to brigade because we're adults and we live in a society. And I got, yes, um, poor Ganesh was going to leave because he thought this was his fault because she's all of a sudden like married to a Hindu god or something. And I'm like, you know what? No, no. She's just, she's just mentally ill. I said, I'm sorry about this. And I said, I, I really wanted to apologize to all Hindu people everywhere because I'm like, Oh my god, is this how I come off talking about Ganesh? Oh my god, I should never mention Ganesh ever again. I... I was like, oh my god, am I doing the same thing she is? You know, and, and I try, and I, here I am, shopping vegetarian and vegan so he can eat something other than rice. He's got to be sick of it. Um, and I just don't have the money right now to get pay 18 bucks to have them deliver fresh vegetables, like 18 bucks, and then I buy vegetables or fruit or something. So he gets, you know, he gets yogurts and, you know, um, vegetarian food, vegan food, and, you know, it's it's all good. I'm fine with it. Lemon bars from Laura, Laura Bar are the banging, you know, best thing ever. And I'm like, I'm good with this. We're really not going to suffer. But, you know, she she now owns vegan food, too. She doesn't want us eating it, and she's she's never been a vegan, even though she has a vegan channel. I'm like, well, one, if you were pretending to be vegan, that's so uncool. That's wrong to do to vegan people. And two, um, she's just not going to get what she wants. She she harasses other vegans. The other vegans hate her. If you're the kind of vegan other vegans hate, 
congratulations, you're creating ex-vegans. That's how I became an other uh, ex-vegan because, you know, it's, it's people like that, that, you know, like if people say like there's vegan gains, there's that vegan teacher, and then there's this level of crazy, you're creating ex-vegans is what you're doing. I got Ganesh the vegan food so he could enjoy something to eat. You know, and that's that's the only reason we did it. And I took Odin out hunting because I'm an omnivore. So, you know, and I apologize to any vegetarians or vegans that might feel like caught in the middle. We don't care what you eat. We really don't. As long as you're healthy, you aren't getting sick, your doctor isn't concerned, and you were doing this from a place of this feels best for your body or whatever. Ooh, one second. Our vegan food actually arrived. Hold on. Oh my god, it's like this huge box, so like, it feels like Christmas, because it's cold enough to snow up there, I think, and this huge box, and we got lemon bars, oh my god, those are so hard to find, those Laura, those Laura Bar lemon bars, those are like crack, those are so good, and we got them, oh my god, and it's like, you go, I used to go into stores to shop for, you know, vegan food, now I shop online, like, when I, I do occasionally still eat vegan food, and it's like, there, there's like legendary Laura bars and people that eat them are like, yeah, those are hard to find. Like there's like 12 or so, you know, flavors that you can never find in stores. They're just like always gone. The moment they're put on the shelf, somebody goes yoink and buys the entire box and you can never get them. Um, so pro tip, try to shop on Amazon or try to shop on Walmart. I shouldn't be creating competition for myself, but yeah, they do have vegan food on both places. I, like, I don't see any downside of buying Ganesh vegan food. It's like, he gets to eat, I get to eat. Um, we, we did, I did point out that, you know, Laura bars are kind of posh compared to, like, say, other breakfasts. But, you know, if you compared it to another food item, if you ate a Laura bar as a replacement for your lunch, shouldn't, but <laughs> I say you did, um, then it's only, like, a little bit more expensive than, like, one of those big honking bowls of soup. Um, same thing for the bowls of soup, the vegan bowls of soup. They are a lot smaller, but, you know, a little bit more expensive online. Like, I'm sure it's cheaper in the stores, but I don't have mobility. So, you know, um, it's it's all good. It will all be good. One second, please, guys. Sorry. Allergies. So we got we got him the lower bars, which are banging, and he's going to enjoy those. And I'm like, you know, um, he's going to enjoy these. We're all going to enjoy them because they're lower bars. They're so good. And we made vegan you know, well, vegetarian food for him last night, made rice with milk and cinnamon, so, like, a lot of vegetarian food, some, some meat still in the diet, because, you know, I like that, and we still have meat and fish and stuff and chicken in the house, um, we have turkey ready to go for Thanksgiving, and I, I think Ganesh is trying to actually push me towards, towards being open to the fact that if some Hindus offer him meat, it might actually be okay, I just think he, he thinks I won't love him anymore if I see him as an omnivore, and I'm like, that would be the exact opposite of a problem, but, you know, um, you know, it's okay. I love him whether he eats meat or doesn't. I love him whether he's vegetarian or isn't. I don't care what he eats. Um, I'm getting an idea, though. I think he actually wants to be involved in turkey. I'm like, um, we're having turkey. If you think we're having turkey, no, because that is orphan tears bad is what that is i cooked them for a couple of years they're they're bad they're, they are they're not you say they taste good because you're vegan and <laughs> what else are you going to do um i saw a vegan try this chicken and that we're getting and i said i hope you know this tastes like tears of orphans and he's like what i she almost spit it out i said if a committed vegan of yours almost spit it out then it's that kind of gumball chicken that vegans make they make a chicken substitute and it's almost always gummy like the bad part of chicken is gross i said it's gonna taste like the tears of orphans but i at least wanted to try some something so you could have something and make like a buddha bowl or something and you know i don't care what he eats i don't it's just kind of weird that this woman's upset that we bought vegetarian and vegan food it's like pick a lane pick up what you're actually angry about and she's upset that Ganesh is here because Ganesh can't be here because she's the only one that gets to do that because all the people of India told her. I'm like, really? Okay. So, um, you know, we hope you guys are having a good one. We got the Laura bars. We got a couple other groceries in. We're going to be getting groceries all week, actually, because of the way shipping is working anymore. But, you know, we don't, we don't dislike vegans or vegetarians. I don't care what you eat as long as I was trying to say before the mail came. As long as you're healthy, as long as you're not doing it from a place of guilt or shame, 
I don't care, you know, blessings on you and your diet, just as long as your health is good. It's not affecting your health. It's not, you know, it's not making you sick. You don't feel deprived and you're not crying bitter tears in the corner and feeling guilty. You know, if you're doing that, then please stop whatever it is you're doing. But, you know, um, we're good. We don't really, we really don't care what you eat. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.